everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video, another venting video. Oh, I'm about to lose my sunglasses. I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoyed the late summer that we have been having the past week. It has been scorching. It has been super hot, but I am very thankful. Today is a traveling day and I'm very thankful that it is a little bit more cloudy and the temperature has definitely dropped. So that's good. Very, very good, especially as we are traveling more into the day than perhaps we may necessarily normally do. But we are heading off to Chillington for a regional final, which seems absolutely crazy that we have actually got a regional final. We are just going no expectations and just going for the experience for Addy. We have got to ride in a 20 by 60 a test. There are movements in the test that I'll be honest is pushing Addy, like half 15 meter circle and canter, then cantering across the diagonal, coming back to trot just before the marker. Now I have, I'll be honest, it feels a little bit strange that I've picked up my camera this morning because I feel like, or not, I feel like I haven't vlogged for the past couple of weeks. I just feel like I have put, I've put a lot of content out recently because I felt like it was good content to share with you guys. But the past couple of weeks, I haven't really done anything that I felt has been worthy of a vlog. Maybe, maybe it has been, maybe it hasn't. But I feel like I've just got my head down and knuckled down and been training. Addy obviously had a week off. She came back really, really well after that. And then I set up a 20 by 60 arena up in one of dad's fields and I have been practicing those movements on grass. I'm going to say nearly every day because it is basically nearly every day, but it's been like I'll go for a hack and then I'll just go in there and do like five, ten minutes and then carry on the hack. Um, just trying to keep it varied. We went to Colerain yesterday, had a little bit of a pop. I'll be honest, it probably wasn't the best of sessions, um, but I've watched the videos back and actually I think I am more focusing on the ones that we didn't get right, whereas 90, maybe 95% of it, we did actually get it right. So that's helped me, always good to watch it back. But yeah, we've just been head down and training. So I do feel we are going up there the best that we can. Obviously, I would love to have another month, a couple of weeks, a week of being able to train a little bit more, but it is what it is. Um, and we're just gonna go have fun and enjoy going to a new venue as a partnership. Um, I probably shouldn't say this, because again, this is where I've got to be really careful with my language, but the last time I went to Chillington, I was actually grooming, but the last time I rode at Chillington, I didn't have the best of, well, two out of the three phases was very good. Um, bless Miss Lola, and it was actually, yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit sad, because that was actually the event that kind of made me realize that Lola didn't want to event and I never, well, yeah, I didn't do another event after that. So I've got to get that out of my head. I've said it, it's out, I've done it, and I'll throw it away and don't think about it anymore. Um, Addy is a whole different partnership and I'm excited to see how she takes it on. So looking forward to it. We're going up in convoy with Kerry ann and Connor. Um, Amy's traveling with Kerry ann Susie's traveling with me, so we'll be picking them up on the way and then we're traveling the horses separately just to save any clinginess or anything like that. Um, we are staying at a lovely ladies yard who reached out to me on Instagram. So really appreciate her putting us up for the night. I believe the horses are going out, but obviously we can delve into that when we get there. But I have actually not packed anything. It has been a lovely relaxed morning. I was gonna work and then I was like, mm. my friend Gemma was like, just enjoy having a bit of a lion. Like you've got a lot going on in the next couple of days and she is completely right. So I've had a bit of a lion, a chilled start to the morning, which has been lovely. Um, but I am now about to pack up and actually looking at the state of my feed room and tech room, it's quite messy. But anyways, let's get the big bag out and get things in. Everything is already washed and clean. So that is good. Addy was bathed yesterday after our session at Colray. I might have just took some shampoo and whipped it in her and uh, bathed her then. So she's all clean. I want to leave her out as long as I possibly can. She'll come in, have a bit of food. I'll hitch up and then basically get on the road. But yeah, carrying on the nice chilled vibes. Mm -hmm. 
and we're on the road. I'm guessing this part of the trip is probably gonna take us about five hours. And then tomorrow we've got another probably hour and a half. So then I just felt that felt more like it's a nicer drive for us this afternoon. There's been a few things of the reason that we couldn't leave any earlier. Basically, Carrie Ann's youngest has broken his leg a week ago and had a fracture clinic this morning. So just needed to wait to hear what the results were on that because it was umming and ahhing whether Carrie Ann was going to even be joining or not. Susie has had to work this morning, um, but it's been good because like I said, it resulted in me having a nice chilled morning. Everything is packed up. I've just done the like visualize everything that I need for each phase and I almost forgot my jumping bit, which is why I think yesterday's jumping session probably wasn't the greatest. So found that, that is now in the car and everything else I think I have got. So yeah, fingers crossed. I've got the horse, I've got the tack and everything else you can just kind of borrow, can't you? So, right, let's uh, get on the road. I've got coffee, I've got monster, I've got electrolytes, I've got everything. Um, she's got a lovely big hay net. The water is all filled to the brim. So we are all good to go. All windows are open as well in case it does come out any hotter because I've just been rushing around and then I'm suddenly like, oh, it's warm. Um, oh, and Susie's calling me now. So we shall give her an answer and uh, get on the road. The journey is going well so far, isn't it, Addy? Just got the ramp down. They've just had a little bit of a chill. Stood still for a moment. I can't lie, it is still quite warm but it's all right the horses are cool in the back which is nice we've got the windows open so they've got a nice bit of ventilation vent vent ventilation um we're not sweaty or anything like that but i think we're all just feeling a little bit warm well, we've got about another two hours to go i don't want to say it because i really don't want to jinx it but traffic so far we have had a few slow moments it was actually the hardest getting out of um Truro area to be honest. I was gonna say getting out of Cornwall, but it wasn't. It was just getting from Chiverton to Carlin Cross. They are doing roadworks and it was it was very slow going. I'm gonna pop Sue a message just to say that we're probably about two, two and a half hours away, so she'll know when to expect us. Um she sent us some directions that we need to follow once we get onto a certain road. So we'll pass my phone over to Susie. Well, yeah, let's get this up. We'll offer you another drink. Why is it that you give the horses water but they don't actually drink anything so i've offered her once she didn't want it but she has just had a wee which bless her she was obviously waiting for us to stop to be able to have that um you've had a fair bit and um, yeah we'll carry on carry on the journey we have arrived at the most loveliest of settings huge thank you to sue for putting us up and look how lucky these ponies are look at that we've got individual turnout loads of grass yeah, Addy, please have a drink, because I'd actually really like you to have a drink. You're not even bothered about your mum right now, are you? She literally, I was like, oh, she might go out, have a little run around. Nope, she didn't get much further than what she is right now, because she was, like, head down eating grass. So, just like they would be at home. They've come off the box really well. And, yeah, yeah, it's nice just to see her nice and settled and happy. That's all you can ask for, isn't it? But it is a beautiful setting. I am like feel like I'm whispering, because it's just so peaceful and quiet. Yeah, look at the views for days. Beautiful. The most beautiful setting. The ponies are settled out in the field. And just have to say a huge thank you to Sue for letting us stay here and the ponies stay here. Very much appreciated. Okay, thank you very, very much. We are being spoiled rotten. <laughs> We're not actually eventing tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the spa. The spa. Cheers, ladies. I don't have a drink, cheers. but... <laughs> I do have a drink, just to say that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just need a little podium. Emily's living her best life to Titanic, everybody. Good morning, Addy. I don't get a wicker, thanks. It's typical, it? I don't get a wicker. Hiya. You okay? She's like, no, I'm not coming in, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy, Mum. <laughs> oh, 
she go up. <laughs> I felt like I went sliding then. Someone did with a foot shot on me. That was an eventful plaiting, wasn't it, Addy? Yes. Is it time to load up and get on the way to Chillington? Good girl. We are, I want to say finally on the road. I feel like plaiting took a rather long time, longer than I'm used to. I said, oh, I need an hour for plaiting, but it doesn't usually take me quite that long. But today, Addy took up the whole hour because she has come in a little bit, I want to say wired, but actually she's, a little bit anxious I think she got a little bit sweated up she was just a bit unsure and wanted to be in everybody's pockets in everybody's hands wanted to be fidgety walking around which obviously does not help when you are plaiting but it almost just took me back say 12 months when I used to platter at home that she would always be really fidgety and that sort of thing but yeah no it's fine she's plaited there is one that I need to redo because you know what I'm all like I'm a bit of a perfectionist with my plaits and one of them is rather bad but we all wanted to get on the road so we are going in convoy so sue and soph soph is riding also in the regional final today she is in my section and then we've got carrie ann in front of me so we're all in convoy um we did just say maybe we won't park next to each other because apparently jack which is sue and soph's horse has got a little bit attached to addy i think when i took addy out to load her up so we might have to just make sure that people would strategically park ourselves basically but we're not actually on until Addy and I until quarter to two so we have got a little bit of time we got we're gonna obviously help the others with their dressage their jumping we're gonna be walking at the cross country together in between their dressage and the show jumping because they've got more of a gap and then mine is going to be literally, I'm going to be getting on and then it's bang, 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 which actually I think I'm quite happy about that. Um, and hopefully Addy will be happy. I have got the Vetricarm syringe that she will most definitely be having. I think she enjoyed being out on that lush grass last night. I don't know, I don't know. She is just a little bit, a bit fruity and I was worried she was going to come up here and be tired, but I don't think I need to have worried about that. But I just want to take this moment because I've had quite a few comments asking, who is Susie? So Susie is married to, she's been very quiet behind the camera, I'm very <laughs> impressed. Oh, there's a little giggle. Susie is married to my cousin. So my mum's brother, his son, and then married to his son. Yeah, that is the right way. But anybody who doesn't know, so it's part of the family. Do you know why I'm being a bit quiet? I know why you're being a bit quiet. So, basically... <laughs> Emily threw her under the bus. You know that... No, you didn't. You didn't throw me under the bus, because I thought... You were helping me. Well, I was trying to help, yeah. You, no, not trying. You did help me. You did. So, you know that vlog that Emily last put out about us going to the outdoor school and just doing a little bit of... Um, schooling work with Addy over the jumps and um, I had to shout the one two three one two three um, I clearly know watching it back that a I was completely out of time <laughs> <laughs> and B I definitely don't need a microphone um, so I am just want to give a public apology out to the world um, because I actually thought, obviously, that was the task you'd set me to do, and I thought yeah, I was helping. Yeah, and that was what I needed. I needed you to be counting me. I didn't notice at the time that you were not, maybe. Oh, I definitely wasn't in time. No, I no, thought no. I was at the time. But. Yeah, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. All I knew was, oh, Susie's counting. I need to count. I need to count. I need to count. And that is the exact reason that I asked you to count. So it helped me, and and it so. So that is my public apology out to the vlogging community. Um, so I've lost a little bit of, I, I'm going to say confidence because I have, I've been quite quiet you on your vlog so far. But um, I don't think I've actually been a very good vlogger because oh. 
I haven't vlogged that much. Oh. But it's okay, we can get lots of footage today. I will get you lots of footage today, yeah. So, um... And put anything on Insta stories. I need to do Insta stories. I'll do that for oh, you as well. Oh, it's so funny how <laughs> you don't, like, speak to camera or you don't pick the camera up or anything like that for a while. Like, even just a couple of weeks. And then you, it feels really alien and you're a little bit like... Uh, 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 of like, I don't know what to say. really lovely and cool in here so I've been quite I asked when we turned up I am going against the grain and facing that way because one she'll be looking out that way and won't see Connor and also I was like actually you should have more shade on that side because it is going to be a warm day but actually if you stand in here it's, it's lovely. really lovely and cool <laughs> um but I've been stood here where I have got no breeze or anything and yeah sweating but hail is done I'm actually quite impressed with that that looks quite good looks Carrie Ann has gone off to do her dressage, so she's warming up. She's not on for another about 15 minutes, so I'm just going to thread the tail up and then uh, we'll get over there and watch her, and then it will be heading out and walking across country. Awesome. And I've decided that whilst Emily's doing this, I'm going to do this motion like this, and then it's going to shade Emily. So. I probably shouldn't do it when she's not here because that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But well, it's going to look weird anyway, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and let the eventing action commence. Carrie Ann has just gone in the background there. She's in this arena. And then we've also got Soph in the arena next to her doing a lovely test so far. And Carrie Ann will be heading down the centre line to start her test in about 30 seconds. Going back old school, I'm back on the phone because we might have left Susie and Amy out there walking the course. We like ran on to get it done, and I think we have done it in record time to be honest. But then Amy decided she didn't want to walk all of it, she's just seen the first few fences. And then Susie Durava had my vlogging camera, so she is filming all the fences. So, huge thank you to her um, for the footage that you will have just seen. Um, hopefully. Hopefully she's remembered that we're green. So we are green today because of it being the regional final and not just a standard 90. The course is looking good. It's looking inviting. There are questions on it, but as to be expected, you wouldn't not expect to have questions at a regional final. So I think they're all perfectly doable. Um, yeah, I feel in a little bit of a strange mood and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm not on until later that you've got like longer to think about things and trying to think of all the good things and not the bad things but yeah anyways it's now time to rush I've got half an hour until I want to be on and then we will be making our way over to the dressage arena so guys I have just walked the cross country course on my own I've been trusted with Emily's vlogging camera to go and film all the jumps for you all um 
I do have a little bit of a confession though because at the beginning I knew I was following green as we were going round I think I've got a little bit delirious and I think I might have filmed some orange instead of green so if that does happen again I publicly apologize um, so on the way back I've picked up some cold waters from the shop because I thought the girls could do with the cold water so yeah there you go Team, team, I come with cold drinks. Way. I come with cold drinks. I come Way. with cold drinks. This is Amy, oh. everybody. This is Kerry Ann's groom. Hello. Cold drink for you. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm not going to film Kerry Ann because you get right her bum now. at the moment. There we go. Here she is. <laughs> I come warm. with the drink, darling. You're going to need that. There you go, my love. Yeah. And where's Emily? Oh, she's over doing studs. I come with, I come with gifts. Oh. A cold drink. Lush. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome, darling. Oh, thanks. Did you make it all the way around the course? I made it all the way around the course. Yes. Um, the vlog, thank you very much. The vlog, yes. I said it on the way back. I was like, I'm back all... on my phone because Susie is somewhere on course. Oh, although I'm not going to tell you what I've said to the vlog. You can find that out when you edit it. When I'm editing, okay. <laughs> I just was in there getting changed and I almost ran out with no trousers on to go, I haven't given her karma and I need to give her karma. Oh, she's seeming a lot more calmer now than what she was this morning. She is, she's come off really well. Yeah. Addy warmed up really well and I didn't want to spoil her. They were actually running ahead so we went in a little bit earlier than our time but it felt right for us. And we are riding our first ever 20 by 60 dressage test which is the B90 Championship Dressage Test 98. And when you ride at a regional final you are actually marked by two judges. So please bear with me. I will be trying to give you both marks from both of the judges but I'm very thankful to both Susie and Meg for filming at different angles which I think is really handy when you watch it back because you really do see different things from different points from around the arena so for our entry we got a 7.5 and a 7 with comments of nice entry active entry and contact and I was pleased she came in really bold forward and as the judge said active you then go on to a 15 meter circle which one mark we got a 7.5 and the other was a 6.5 mouth opening and frame a little deep where you can see probably throughout this test that's just where Addie's tension comes out it is in her mouth she's just a little bit mouth opening we then come across that diagonal there did four to five steps in walk before proceeding in trot and we scored a seven and another seven from the other judge then the trot around the arena we scored a 7.5 and a 7 with no comments from either of them and then back onto another 15 meter circle but I'm actually really pleased with Addie's rhythm she's bending she felt supple and yeah just pleasing trot bike to start off the test so for that 15 meter circle we got a 7 and another 7 from the other judge then again coming across the diagonal for another four to five steps of walk we scored a 7.5 from one judge and a seven from the other just saying that we had a slow downward transition which actually when you watch here now you'll see that I sit in sitting trot for a lot longer than what I was on the diagonals and actually that made that mm. a lot better transition so we scored a seven and mm. a another seven from the other judge then around there she just did throw her head up a little bit I almost feel like she was just saying hi to the judge so it did drop us down for a six and a 6.5 before starting our half 20 meter circle free walk on a long rain just needing a little bit more purpose but we did score a seven and another seven from the other judge snatching at the start but some good steps and then I was really pleased with both these transitions they were both obedient from the trot, uh, from the walk to the trot, to the, and the trot to the canter, and we actually scored a 7.5 from both of the judges. Then onto a 20 meter circle, 
with a given retake over the second half of the circle when crossing the center line. We got a seven from one judge and a seven from the other. Resisting on the circle, but good give and retake. And yeah, I would agree with that. And then it's on to what I would say is the hardest movement for Addy at the moment, a half 15 meter circle, cantering across the diagonal and trotting just before the marker. But both reins, I felt she really tried and did a good job actually. Um, so here we can just see it again from Meg's angle. So she kept the canter across the diagonal and sometimes we can like break here. So the fact that she has kept it all the way until just before the marker, I was really pleased. A little bit against my hand, just coming down into that trot transition. Um, but we scored a seven and another 6.5 from the other judge. Now that transition, unfortunately, didn't go as well as the other rain. It was rather messy um, and it was reflected in the scores. We scored a six and a 6.5. Oh no, sorry, another six, both sixes. Um, but again, we regained really well. We had a good give and retake and then coming on again to this half 15 meter circle. So for the 20 meter circles, we scored a seven and a 7.5. And then here we actually scored a 7.5 for that half circle and across the diagonal by both judges. So actually I think that's the highlight of my test. Dear River, she really did try. And then this is all one movement, all the way trotting around, half 10 meter circle here onto the center line and our halt, which we scored a seven and a six, just a little bit against my hand here into that halt, which was a shame, but Actually, overall, I'm really, really pleased. Can you not read my face? <laughs> I think you're being too hard on yourself. I thought that was nice. She did the bits that I thought she was going to struggle with well, and then it's just other bits that she just was a bit like, get off yeah, me, and that's maybe me being a bit tense and grabbing hold of the reins. Yeah, but I think the only, like, I'm assuming your second trans yeah. canter transition. That was terrible. Yeah, and but there was also think... other times when she shoved her head up in the air. Yeah. The second but she has though, been doing only, the, so only that judge would have seen that. The C judge would yeah, have seen that. Yeah, that's true. That's Your true. canter's back to the track were really nice. Yeah, that's so nice. much better. Yeah, do you know, I, I have worked. I've done them nearly every yeah. single day. <laughs> they were really three. good. So I was pleased with her. I knew she was going to struggle. No, and I think um, really pleased with that. Her give and retake yeah, was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, she yeah, yeah. She doesn't move, really so. Good. No, I, I think might that actually mark late. really well. I think it's one of those where it well, feels worth it. Look. Perfectionist, that's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> I am, and I know that, but it's just, yeah, when you feel it on. Did the trot at the beginning look really stuffy? No. No? no I thought it looked nice. Okay. No, I Because I was like, really oh, nice. do I push her on? And then I thought, no, she's not in the mood. Like, if I push her on, I could yeah, either break your hands or the rhythm a bit. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, just ride what you get. No, I think watching it back, you'll be really pleased. Okay. It looks good. Oh, thank you. It looks good. Can I steal my hair back from you? Oh, now? of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Sorry. expect the head when I go walk my dressage completed. Addie has had a little wash off, but I'll be honest, she probably wouldn't notice because she's decided to stand like that instead of stood in the shade. I have just watched it back. I think it always perhaps feels worse than what it looks. It is hard to see it on this tiny little screen, but actually as I've been coming up here for the experience for her first 20 by 60 test doing those movements that she has never had to do before I'm really proud of her really really pleased she held it together her canters across the diagonal and trotting just before the marker I thought were brilliant and I knew that at the time when I was riding it I was like yes all those times that I've practiced that movement in the last two weeks paid off so yeah no overall really pleased I think there's just moments in it that I feel we could have potentially lost some silly marks that we shouldn't have lost if I like if she had fell out of canter across that diagonal I would have understood because I know that that is a struggle for her but then to be I don't know throwing a head up in a trot circle or something like that I just feel is a silly mark to throw away but hey ho all done and dusted not going to yeah, I'm looking at the positives of it, as I always try to do, but it's on to jumping now and they're kind of jumping, you go up there and then they write in your name down. So I think I'm just gonna, giving her like a little bit of a break. I've got some electrolytes down in me. Like I say, she's been washed off. So I think actually it's just boom, boom, boom. Try not to overthink it too much um, about this jumping. And I think I'm better off just getting on and getting on with it, um, if I'm honest. Get my rescue remedy out, where's that? 
town here, I just saw that on the floor. Definitely need some of that. Let's get that in me as well. Get you tacked up and head over to do some jumping. We've seen the, I've seen the course, haven't walked it, but I'm going with how I felt at Launceston, that actually I think that's a better way to be. So we'll carry on trying that out today, see how we get on. But yeah, so far, so good. kerri has just gone out on the cross country. She had a pole down in her jumping. She had 31 for her dressage. So she's pleased, but I do think it's all very tight at the top. So I think she's a little bit disappointed with having a pole because that has pushed her down quite a lot. But hopefully she's out there right now having a blast around the cross country course. I can't lie, I am feeling a little bit embarrassed of what is about to be shown to you guys. So as we're coming around to fence one, I realized that it was quite uphill, so needed to make sure that we had the power and the energy behind us to get over the first couple of fences, which we got a couple of really lovely strides to both of those. But here, I was actually meant to turn right and not turn left. So Emily went into a bit of oh my goodness, what have I done? Fence three is over the other side of the arena. I can't cross my tracks, which thankfully with a little bit of wiggle round, quick canter transition, we then got back on track to fence three. But unfortunately, I think the lack of concentration is what caused us to have that pole. We then had a good stride over fence four and fence five before turning again right to come back across the arena for six and seven but you can see there the head went up a little bit and she ran with me so I just kind of had to go with it and then just stayed balanced but thankfully she kept them up then around this corner I was like right you've got to come back to me because we've got a couple of tricky lines first of all we've got this one strided double which we got a lovely shot into and then this one here was quite up to height and also on a bit of a downhill but Again, I just kept my balance back and she jumped it really nicely. And then over the last as well to complete the round. What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> oh. It's okay, we completed it. Sorry, Addy. I don't know what, I was like, number three's not round here, Emily. Why are you turning left? I don't know if that counts or not because I was like, don't cross your tracks after a fence. So I was like, right, wiggle in between there and then go that way. So I don't know. And then Deer River, didn't actually think we were going to have it down, but I think it's just the changing, going left and right and all just, yeah, we weren't really balanced. So, Deer River. Oh, well, never mind. Done. Never mind. Never mind. She was keen and she jumped well. So. Excellent. She looked very happy. Yeah. Yeah. In the warm up, she was throwing some shapes, weren't you? Oh. Yes. Daddy shapes. Development officer, has done since leaving school. 30.8 the dress sergeant. Small, she works as a systems development officer, has done since leaving school. 30.8 the dress sergeant, oh for to add. Hey, Keen Bean.
Yeah. Woo! just wanted to say a huge huge thank you to everybody out on course for getting those snippets that you've just seen really do appreciate it and it's so lovely to watch it back so thank you to everybody who has sent them across whether that was later on or actually meeting me at the finish line but i have also very kindly been sent a full round from equiril so we can see absolutely everything that happened out on course so as we were in the start box that was the most excited i've ever felt addy if i'm honest i feel every start box she's getting more and more excited but she came out is pricked and so game on we got over the first three fences really nicely before coming to fence four which was the first combination on the course we had to jump the first part a little bit on an angle to get straight for the second but as you see she went through it absolutely mega and jumped it really really well and this one was a little bit of a different kind of looky fence but again she jumped it well and now I, I've got to admit she was very fiery this day and I was struggling I had a bit of slippery rains and I couldn't quite get her back as much as I wanted but here we've got another combination and actually this turn really really helped us just to get her back to me and back to listening and as you see resulted in a really lovely jump over the B element. We're on a bit of a downhill now and I really did not get her back and together as much as I should have and I'll be honest that resulted in probably the worst jump of the course um, but thankfully she got over it and we got regained it well and again we're on to another combination and this was probably the one i was most worried about it was a corner two strides on a bit of a curve but again as you see she absolutely went through it like a bosh she bossed it dear over she jumped it so well as you can probably hear my celebration afterwards then another roll top with a bit of brush which was nice and then here i was really trying to get her back together and concentrating um, a little bit of vocal encouragement, maybe more for myself than for her, let's be honest. Um, but it was going from light to dark with the water, lots going on. So just wanted to make sure that she was like concentrating on it basically. But again, as you see here, she straight away picked up. Yep, that's our next fence. Okay, mum, let me go. And that's how she felt the whole way around the course. Here I can remember clocking onto the penguin and thinking, oh, that's a bit spooky. But again, she had just clocked onto the fence. Now coming up this hill, I was aware we were quite fast and I did pull her a little bit out of our rhythm, which I think caused a little bit of a misstride there. But then I pushed back on, knew we had this combination. And again, she jumped all the combinations so, so well. So proud of how well she took them on, knew where she was going and yeah, how well she jumped them basically. And now we're coming on to the final few fences. Again, I'm trying to slow her down. I'm like, we don't need to be this quick. Um, that one was a little bit of a lucky fence, but again, she just took it on. All I can say is that she just took it on so well. And you can see there, she's like fighting me. She's like, yep, just let me at the fence, mum. Again, finishing another round with a super duper clear. Couldn't be prouder of her. Another new venue and she took it on all so well. So huge thank you to Ecruel for sending me through this because I, like I've always said, it is such a valuable training tool and it's just so lovely to relive it all again. They're being looked after well, aren't they? You can have a pony. That wasn't the nicest of rounds, I can't lie, but it wasn't pretty, but you don't get any points for style on cross country. But we were a bit too fast, weren't we, Addy? Thank you very much. How'd you get on? Yeah, we went clear. Went clear, but just with some very hairy moments. Oh, okay. And we were four seconds too fast. <laughs> okay. Which is good. She is more than capable of doing the speed, but I was struggling to get her back to me because my brains were very slippery. Oh, do you know how nice that feels? Oh. You and I till the end Don't need to pretend Again and again We'll stick together Everything is alright With you from my side We won't say goodbye We'll stick together I can pick you up When you're heading down When it all just sucks I'll be your Charlie Brown You can make me laugh when I wanna cry In a world gone mad 
time at Chillington Hall for 2023 is sadly coming to an end and it's time to hit the long drive home. Thankfully, we got a bit of cloud. It has cooled down. I thought it was a lovely touch actually that they had helpers waiting for us at the end of cross country to straight away get cold water on the horses. Um, and actually it's quite nice having a, a good walk back because by the time we got back to the trailer, Addie was already back to normal breathing and yeah. I just gave her another rinse off just to help her stay as cool as possible. But I've just popped over. We're all packed up and ready to hit the road. But I've just popped over and got my dress on sheet and just reading down through the comments. They're all a bit varied, the marks. But we have got more 7.5s creeping into our test which is why we are creeping down in our marks in the dressage I just love how each time she goes out she's getting a little bit more a little bit more and as I said I had no expectations for today I didn't know what she was going to be like in a 20 by 60 arena I knew that she finds some of the movements hard in a school let alone on a grass arena but oh my goodness she tried today and she really did try those 15 meter circles and the yeah the canter I'm so proud of her show jumping I completely let her down unfortunately but that's just my own battles and issues that I need to deal with I do think I am getting better it's just a work in progress there like Addie's dressage is a work in progress my show jumping mindset is a work in progress but I felt like we recovered it it didn't end up messing up my whole entire round so was pleased with that and actually she was flying over the fences and I thought jumped really really nicely cross country she was absolutely mega so bold and brave there were so many like little spooky things with how they had dressed the fences like they had a penguin and I can remember riding at one and I was like oh yeah there is a bit of a spooky penguin and I was like no no focus on the fence um she, my reins did get a little bit slippery out there today so I just felt like I couldn't quite maybe I should have set up a little bit more but just couldn't quite get her back to me as much as I would have liked and we did have a few ugly jumps I have noticed that Ekra Rail were here so fingers crossed I might be able to have the round from that but I don't think that it was the prettiest but you don't get any points for cross country and then obviously we were just a little bit fast so actually came in at 542 and we should have been 549 but it doesn't matter I just am so pleased I'm actually a little I don't want to say relieved because that's a very strong word but I've always thought Addie's quite slow on cross country and I have been a bit concerned that maybe she hasn't got the speed there behind her to get like going up the levels but today she's just proven to me no no she's absolutely fine and actually I think because my reins <laughs> were a little bit um, slippery I couldn't obviously set her up for the fences maybe as much as I would and that just probably shows how much time that waste or takes um but yeah over the moon so she's an epic little chase, pony she's in the trailer eight, so we're going to get on the road and uh, i won't end this here now because ten. it's not a very good ending uh, when you've got the commentator going on in the background polo for the best horse hmm you my little superstar yes you are you were so good weren't you so good obviously as you can i'm eating a polo now as well apologies as you can tell, it is now, it's daylight, I'm home. It is now Sunday. We got home rather late yesterday, actually. I think I might need to finish this polo. <laughs> yes, we got home rather late last night. So Addie just went straight out in the field along with Spritey. And I'll be honest, I didn't even bother unpack my car. I just unhitched and got home. And I'd like to say then just went straight to bed but I couldn't help myself and I had to download the footage watch back the dressage the show jumping and videos that people very kindly got for me out on the cross country and had come over found us and airdropped I've had some more come through as well this morning so really do appreciate you guys filming them for me to watch back because yeah it's really nice to relive it I'll be honest I do think I might have been a little bit of a brat when I came out of dressage I think I just came out and I was focusing on the mistakes that we did make in the test because I'm not going to say it was not foot perfect and there was mistakes but I think I was just a bit disappointed that the mistakes were in movements I wasn't expecting them to be in the ones like the walking steps across the diagonal the cantering back to the track the give and retake I thought she was going to struggle with them and they would be the movements that we might not get you know the best of marks but actually those marks were good and it was 
some trot work or the walk or things like that that we unfortunately and I can to transition that we lost those marks but to score a 30.8 with two judges in our first 20 by 60 test I am absolutely buzzing I did not I mean I went up there just to gain experience and didn't have any expectations but I never in a million years thought we would be like around the 30 mark which is nuts um she was so good she really did try bless her and it's really nice to know that the work that i've put in like obviously in the last couple of years because i've almost had addy now two years which is crazy but the work the past couple of weeks like setting up the arena up in the field practicing those movements in the correct size arena i really do think helped addy and myself and we will be giving the test a go later on as our last event at the, of the season when we are hopefully be heading to a Bicton three-day event. So I've just asked Dad today, can we keep the arena set up, please? I said I only needed it two weeks, but he said, yeah, that's fine. Phew. Ideal, so we can still get practicing in there. Then on to show jumping and, yeah, sack me. Addy was great. It was, I don't know why, my, mindset it is. It, yeah, I don't know what came over me. I'd watched quite a few. I know that I didn't walk it. But I was, I actually counted into my first fence, which I was proud of. And then fence two, I just, it just took me left. From watching it back though, I think the thing that I am looking at the positives, the thing I am most proud of myself about is I didn't get into a flap. I didn't let it fluster me for the rest of my round. And I was quick thinking, make sure that I didn't cross my tracks and just got back on track as quickly as I possibly could. Yes, we had the fence down, which was... Addy didn't deserve that, I deserved that, Addy didn't, but actually then the rest of the round was really nice and I didn't let it hinder me over the rest of the course. If you've been around for a while you'll know show jumping is not my favourite phase and something like that could be quite easily, I want to say like a trigger to make me go into panic mode, but I'm really proud of myself that I didn't and I composed myself well and like I say didn't let it affect the rest of the round then on to cross country she was absolutely mega I'll be honest it wasn't the most fluent of rounds we did have a few and actually again I'm probably looking more at the negatives because I have watched an awful lot of the footage that I have been sent and actually she's flying over them but we just had a few fences where I think we got quite disconnected between the front end and the back end and was putting us then onto like half strides maybe not getting necessarily dead straight for the fences and I think I was just struggling to hold the reins if I'm honest, to gather her back up. And then when she sees the fence, she's like, I seen it. And then that's when we can just sort of run a little bit to the bottom of the fences. But actually, when I think about it, it was a very small portion of the fences compared to how many fences she absolutely smashed. Like the combinations, the first one, fence four, and I've got epic slow-mo from Pete. So huge thank you to him for sending that over. Absolutely, oh, she was great. And I know we were a little bit fast, but I think actually because I wasn't setting her up for the fences as much as I have done in previous rounds, again, because I think I was actually struggling a little bit to hold the reins, I think that's how we ended up being so fast. But it's made me feel good because I was a bit worried that Addie didn't actually have the speed. I've been so used to Spritey. She's a bit, of, well, she was a speed demon. Um, Lola always covered the ground really well. And Addie, I've just felt, hasn't had that sort of ground covering canter, if I, yeah. So I have been concerned that she isn't going to be fast enough, but actually yesterday proved to me, yeah, she is. She's got it all in the tank. So that's, yeah, kind of made me feel good. And I didn't want to upset her rhythm too much to really slow her down. So I was like, do you know what? We're just going to be a few seconds too fast, but that's absolutely fine. I'm, yeah, absolutely what, yeah, couldn't ask for any more, really. She was just epic all day going there, like I say, with no expectations, but to end up coming like 16th, I believe, out of, what was Susie County yesterday? I think it was 30. 35 36 in our section so yeah really really proud of her she's having a very well deserved snooze they do love it coming into their stables getting away from the pesky flies just on cloud nine this morning i woke up like really happy and smiley and just still feeling up in the clouds if i'm honest another very successful day eventing it was lovely to see lots of people up there 
Huge thank you to Susie for coming along and helping. Kerry Ann did very well. She was a little bit too fast on the cross country as well. Had one pole and a dress arch of 31. I don't know where she actually ended up in her section, but she had a good day as well. And it was lovely company with Kerry Ann, Amy, and Susie. And of course, the lovely Sue for putting us up Friday night and the horses to go out. Uh, yeah, really, really appreciate it. It was just a lovely couple of days and really thoroughly enjoyed it. So I hope you guys have too coming along and enjoyed this vlog. Please do remember to give it a like if you have. Leave a comment down below, maybe of your favourite part. And of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. But thank you so much, guys, for all your support there were so many good luck messages coming through yesterday it was really really sweet and i really do really really do appreciate it so thank you and on to the next one i don't know what the next vlog is planned to be if i'm completely honest with you but i'm sure it won't be long until there is another one out so i will see you all there bye, -bye.